Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you. My last YouTube video got five likes. That is not okay. I realize that the message is extreme, but you must have an extreme change of mind if you want a change of life. My friends, you love the stories I tell of working in magic, but you're ashamed of magic. I am not. I am proud of magic. I am proud that God took me through time and space to the bottom of a driveway and I put up a shield of faith that my son bounced off of instead of going out into the street and becoming a bloody skid mark. I am proud of magic. I am proud of the message of the Magi and I share it. Do you share it? You won't even subscribe. You won't even hit the like button. You won't even take the time to comment. But for some reason, you keep following me. Hear me. I don't need your follow if you ain't in this 100% ready to change this world, my friends, you are a slave. Look at this, okay? What was the Revolutionary War about? Supposedly they told us with their history that it was taxes and it was about freedom of religion. My friends, if it's unconstitutional to pay an income tax, then why do we pay a personal income tax? If it's for freedom of religion, this America, then why was I thrown out of high school for telling people about Jesus? The kids were telling me that their life was getting better, their home life was getting better, they were getting a better outlook and excitement about the future, and they threw me out. Something is wrong with America. Don't call me an American, okay? Are you really free? Are you free to go to school or not go to school? Can you choose not to send your children to school? No, by law, you must send them to their educational system. Okay, are you free to go to jury duty or not go to jury duty? No, you must go and be a part of their judicial system. My friends, I was even told not to feed the deer. Okay, it's okay if I want to shoot the deer, but they better not catch me feeding those deer again. You cannot catch in the state I live in your rainwater to use in your garden. That's their water. Are you really free? My friends, we have been lied to. We're lied to by the governments. We're lied to by the churches. Okay, how about going to church? They tell you there's a monster God that hates, wars, kills, and judges. My friends, the Christian church is just a tool of the state. Do not call me a Christian. Call me a Christ follower because I do what Jesus says. I have the life of Jesus Christ in me, the Christ mind that I am one with the all good God. My friends, they lie to you in the media. How about a beer commercial? They show you that beautiful beer in that cold mountain stream and they try to create this imagery. Wake up! Let's look at the real imagery, okay? It's that drunk whore with herpes, you know, that screams at her kids. Run that in a commercial. They lie to you. They lull you to sleep with their politics, with their churches, with their media. Wake up! My friends, Get proud that we have the message of the Magi, of the all good God. Start living it. Wake yourself up. Change your own mind. Change your own home and family. And let's change this world. If you are in a country where they will kill you for spreading this message, it's okay to keep your mouth shut, but live it. Be love. Be peace, be joy, be joy. Every one of you, before you get out of bed in the morning, I want you to do a meditation of gratefulness. Grateful that you are one with the all good God. You are protected. You are provided for. You are you have everything that you need. The very energy of God and yours has combined to be one energy where nothing, nothing, nothing is impossible for you. Do not get out of bed without realizing who you are. Where is your focus going? That's where your life will go. Put your focus only on Asha, the highest truth. I am health. In health there is no sickness. I am light. In light there is no darkness. I am provided for, protected. It's faith. As you build your faith, as you experience more things in your life, you'll be able to do more things. How come when everyone else around me is sick, I can't get sick? How come when things that should have hurt me and killed me had no effect on me? Because if they can't poison your mind, they can't kill your body. My friends, 
we're going to have to make a change or else we'll just keep doing the same thing. It'll be a continuation for the next generation, the next generation. We got to change our energy, change our DNA. You have to say, devil, get out. Do not have hate in you, fear in you, greed in you. Don't just try to cover it up. Remove it. Command it out of you in the name of Jesus and come into who you are. Jesus said, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Be perfect energy. Change your DNA. Change what we pass on to the next generation. Change this earth back to Asha. The earth is praying. The animals are praying. We need to come back to the evolution of ever expanding good. We must remove the dark system. We are capable of it. But my friends, realize if anything you get out of this, you are not a victim. You have a choice. You can either choose to stay asleep, keep drinking their alcohol, keep spraying their poisons around the yard, using their excuses. Well, if I don't spray poison, the spiders will bite my kids. If I don't spray poison in my yard, all those beautiful edible yellow flowers will come up. All the lies and illusion. Just admit to yourself, that's what you're choosing. You're choosing to believe their beer commercials. You're choosing to believe you're free. You're you're not a victim. You have a choice. You have a choice to accept the all good God, Ahura Mazda, that doesn't hate, war, kill, or destroy. He's the highest power. Love is the most powerful energy in this world. I promise you, you come into alignment with love and you will feel invincible. I can't even be humble anymore. I'm sure there's a better word for it, but I am too proud. I am too proud of Ahura Mazda. I am too proud of Jesus Christ. I am too proud of Zarathustra. I am too proud of myself, the Magus, and what I am capable of, and working in magic. And I'm not embarrassed to share my messages that talk about magic and the all good God. And I'm asking those of you who is man enough and woman enough to share these videos and not be ashamed of the word magic. Who doesn't want to see their kid as a bloody skid mark and wants to work in magic and power and change this world back? Who cares what the Americans say? Who cares what the Christians say? What does God say? What does Ahura Mazda say? Be a Christ follower and change this world. My God, do you realize how powerful you are? I think you're finally starting to to get it. I want to see some likes on this video. I want to see some shares on this video. I want you to get shirts made up that say Asha. So people ask you, what is Asha? I want you to carry around your book so people ask you, get bumper stickers. Start making it a conversation. And most importantly, I want your kids and your spouse to say, something's different in you. Something has changed. Our life is getting better. You are getting better. I want more of that. I love you guys. See you next time.